are headed to pick up the Mercer. We're late. It's My job is to find what gate he's going, what terminal and gate he's going to be arriving at. So I will be doing that while Mr. Baker drives us. Gonna have to clean the lens. Lily was messing with it last What? Night. <laughs> she touched it? No, but she was getting really close looking. At oh, here's my new phone. First time. Boom. There it goes. It's so pretty. Ooh, ah. <laughs> so I've looked up Mercer's flight. He is uh, actually early. He's supposed to be arriving at 11.32. And his scheduled arrival time is 11.50. So... He's early, we're late. It's going to be a race to see who can make it to DFW first. It actually should be pretty close unless we encounter traffic. Like, like this? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Left lane close, half a mile. Nice. I said you look like an Uber driver. I did. <laughs> yeah, the doors open. I need a sign. I should have held a sign. It was a flight of seniors and children. I was surrounded by both. The children back of me had what I recognized as a um, cheese it box in the cheese it cellophane and was digging it the whole time. Oh. <laughs> the old man next to me doesn't that know the like? armrest. I don't know. Is there something in there? Oh, that's bag? my razor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mercer's vibrator's going off. <laughs> anyway, the old man next to me, he doesn't understand the armrest rule. He thinks it's an armrest. I think it's a separator. You don't put your elbow past it. No, you don't. Harold and the Mercer are back from their shopping trip to at least one place called Untuck It. What do we got, got some here? shirts. Mmm. Got this pretty shirt. Oh, what a nice spring shirt. And this pretty shirt and this pretty shirt. That's beautiful. Those are beautiful. Thank you. I'm very fishes. excited. These, what are those? The little fishes? Yeah. The gray fish and the blue fish. I love them. That's really cute. Thank you. I'm very excited to wear it. I just sat in the death mobile and go down the death mobile? The 75 at 80 <laughs> miles per hour and with white knuckles. <laughs> the traffic is horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Now you know why I drive. Yes, and I wish you were there today. <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> Was it that bad? I need a cocktail. Hey, what? <laughs> Show us what you got. We went to untuck it. Down in the West Village on McKinney. Because this is the Mercer's favorite store. Mercer got three shirts. And I got this shirt. Well, that looks familiar. My first Untucket <laughs> shirt. Familiar? Why does it look familiar? Well, I, I could press rewind. <laughs> or I could just show you. Yes, but Mercer and I don't live in the same city, so... Oh, uh, is that the rule? That was my excuse for Mercer. <laughs> Mercer and I got the Easter outfits. We're going to be twins. Yeah. Twinning. How cute is Twinning that? Twinning is winning. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. There you go. And this was on sale, so... How much was it? 68. <laughs> but look at the bottom. Okay, if that's what you like. Is, I think if I left them in, they would get too dark. Was this the minimum time? Yeah, it was you... added two more minutes. But I think they're oh. so close, it messed up the... I think they'll be fine. They'll be a little chewy. You like it. I, I, I love them chewy. Do you want them under this or just put it right on there? Oh, all right. Here we go. We got some uh, 
Lawton Bow jeans. I'm not even gonna tell you the size, but I'll tell you. Let me see. Hopefully they're oh, that's big. Okay. Yeah. In the interest of transparency, I'm gonna tell you. You're gonna take them off. <laughs> not that transparent. We got we. This is the second pair of what Mott and Bow uh, jeans. They're too big around my waist. They're too long. And the cut, the cut itself is essentially a, I mean, I like straight, the fabric straight, right? and I do like the give in the waist. Um, but, you know, I just, I don't know that it, it, it should get the premium that it gets cost wise. Um, so luckily you're able to return these when they don't fit and you're not really out anything. Bow did not work for me, but if you look at Gerald's, they work fine for him. He likes them. He really likes them. Nice, tight, <laughs> where it's supposed to be, loose where it's supposed to be. Yeah. Do you wear Martin Bow? What do you wear? Do you just Levi's? I don't even know. So, I honestly don't. I got it all measured today. So we're going to do some shopping tonight online. How did that go? It was, it was fun. Really well. It was fun. Did they, did it you have a perfect fit. Perfect. I'm it very excited about it. our York, York Lafleur, who helped us again, <laughs> had some really great suggestions size wise. And he, some of the stuff he had us try on, we wouldn't have picked, um, but it looked great on now. Mercer wants what he tried on because <laughs> it looks so good. He dry. tried on a blazer. Mercer tried on a blazer, a light gray blazer, just to get his size. It looked like it was tailor made for him. It was smooth. It was. It looks like a tailor made this jacket for him. It was gorgeous. It was really, really good. Did you buy that? I said something very rude to the Mercer in the car on the way here that I won't repeat. Because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> it was inappropriate. <laughs> Bonobos, the way it works is you order. Um, we have a guide shop in Dallas, so you get to go try on stuff, which is very nice. Um, and then you just order online, or you can have them order online for you. They don't have stock or inventory in their stores, or their guide shops, as they call them. These ship directly from their warehouse. So you save a little money. Hurry it out in here. We got the next table though, right there. Yeah. Big that one right there? Yeah. We have a story for you. Yeah, we have a story for later. Mercer almost broke out into a fight. He almost a fight. See the couple at the very end, the old man and lady? You can tell them. See them at the very end, which is cute. All the way to the end, against the wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember them crossing the street when we were driving up? I do, actually. I ran in to get in front of them. Yeah. And they seated themselves. The hostess just came up here and they, that man held up his fingers, too. And Mercer was right here. But now they have a bad table because they're by the kitchen. Ha ha. But she's in a dice, so you said it doesn't matter. That'll teach, that'll teach, that'll teach you. you. <laughs> Karma always equals it all around. Wow. <laughs>
then we watch two movies. Okay, this this is less weird than no. actually talking. No. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Then we had a wonderful dinner. Then we came home and had two movies. What did we watch? We watched Boy Erased, which was a very powerful, disturbing movie. Uh, and then we watched Love Simon. I had seen Love Simon before, but David, it was really good. David and I, I didn't know. Mercer and Darren hadn't, and we liked that. <laughs> Mercer cried, so you know it's a good movie by how many tears the Mercer sheds. So five tears is the ex excellent movie. <laughs> and that's all. Mercer has some cocktails. So. Oh, please. <laughs> Show the bottle. <laughs> so... The Mercer was so thirsty. Now, the Mercer's ready for his bedtime. Alright, so we're gonna go to bed now. Yeah. And we'll get up tomorrow, early, and get a bon bonobos. Yes. Okay. We're up Well, we're gonna get up when we get up. And we're gonna go over to bonobos. Before, before five. And David's going to try on a suit. And then we're going to have lunch over there at Legacy West, and we'll take you with us. Say bye, David. Bye. Uh, Gerald and David are out shopping. Shopping was one of the reasons that the Mercer is here this weekend. So they, uh, they're going to several different places, and maybe they'll tell you about it when they get back. But I have some tasks of my own to do while they are out. And one of those tasks is to make deviled eggs. Fixing a burnout light bulb in the bathroom. Probably have to wait for Gerald to help me with that. He's taller than me, um, and I'm terrified of heights. And I'm supposed to make cookies too. That's another one of my tasks. Fun, busy day. All right, talk to you later, ciao. Hey everyone, we are heading out. Um, it is about 3.30, so we're getting a late start because we had a late movie night. Hola. And say hi, Mercer. Hello. We have a stop. We're actually headed to Legacy West and then we're going to grab a bite to eat. Um, we have unfinished business at Bonobos. <laughs> we're just gonna try on our suit because it's on sale. I decided not to just to buy the jacket, but I want the whole thing. That's a week off. Watch you paint my house this week. David's having the exterior of his house painted. Ooh. Doing our favorite activity, or my favorite activity, shopping! <laughs> soup here. We have pork, pork skewers. skewers with a yogurt sauce and a like a pesto sauce. Um, we have potatoes with a looks like a yogurt sauce and maybe spicy, 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 kind of spicy, spicy brava sauce. Brava sauce. Brava yeah. sauce. Um, these are pork croquettes? Ham. Ham croquettes. Um, with a big sauce, which I is my favorite thing of this whole table. The Mercer likes this one. He likes the goat. Uh, pork. Pork. Whatever. Oops. What's your favorite? And Gerald likes his soup. 
And this is the chef's platter in the middle. It's like a meat platter with different types of ham. Fried artichoke heart. Oh, we had fri fried artichoke hearts. Too. So we're having tapas for lunch, in other words. Bon appetit. Hey, what are we doing? What's happening? We're trying to find shelter immediately. We're leaving Bola. And the tornado sirens have gone off. We must find the tornadoes. We are looking for the tornadoes. Oh. You know. um, hey, what you doing? Just making a little snack bowl. Ooh, I almost lost it. I almost lost my sh Sorry. Sorry for the Really? <laughs> Someone's got to edit that out. Someone, not me. So we're doing bowls. We don't have any supper tonight. Okay, so we're just doing... No, no. no, I don't want them. Or you can put a little piece of cheese. If you put a piece of cheese in there, I'll eat them. This is only one. Yeah. We have the, the new Cheez-Its snapped. Delicious chip. At the bottom, the other ones. And che chess cheaters. What is it called? Puff pen. Let me place one first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucy says no. no. No to the puff corn. Lucy said no to the. This is all toasted Stacy's pita thin five cheese. Marissa says niet. What have we been watching on TV? Americans. What did you think? I loved it. Did you? Yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Who are you looking at? I'm looking at you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> We're about to try a different movie. Um, Abducted in Plain Sight. I've seen it. It's very, very disturbing. But I'm going to share that disturbance with my friends. It might be good. Mars is trying to shock us, which is very hard to do. There's one part that I think will shock them. Is it in the first 20 minutes? It's in the first 20 minutes. No, uh -huh. it's basically the 20 minute marker. Okay. We'll I, we'll I want to be shocked. Okay. I'm ready. Good morning and aloha everybody. We are... We are just about to finish getting ready. It's actually not morning at all. It's probably about 2, I don't know, one thirty or so um, in the afternoon on Monday. And today is David's last day. He were, uh, he has a flight around 6 o'clock tonight. And we're going to, we're just going to go have a leisurely uh, kind of lunch, dinner. Uh, he's starving. We'll hang out bet somewhere between here and the airport and then, we will drop him off and uh, and yeah, that'll be the end of David's visit until we see him again uh, in Orlando uh, in about three and a half, gosh, about three and a half weeks, believe it or not. Um, it's a beautiful day. Got I need to get the I need to get the cushions and the patio set up so that it's pretty again for the spring. Goodbye, David. Am I dying? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for heading. Almost. It's Monday. I gotta go. I can't afford to be here anymore. Carol's making me shop too much. <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy anything today? Yes. Bought some shoes. When do they come? They're preparing for shipment out of New York right now. I don't know. Are you gonna wear them to Orlando? Yes. Well, that'll be cool. That'll be fun. It's mm -hmm. gonna look forward to it. Yes, and all my new clothes. My three, three new outfits. New suit. New shoes. This is our new socks. Goodbye, David. Goodbye. Goodbye. Richard. Hey, everybody. It's our final day, final afternoon. We're at Toulouse and we're about to have lunch before we hit to the airport to drop off the Mercer. Mercer is getting a croc madame. Um, we are getting striped bass. Striped bass, blackened. Black. 
with mushroom soup to start. David is safely on board his airplane heading back to Wichita. We are driving home. The traffic is horrendous. It's uh, 620 uh, Sam Rayburn Tollway. And uh, yeah, so we're still five o'clock traffic. Anyway, just wanted to let you know um, that the weekend is over. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Matt, Nori, Lily. Um, we're here. We had a wonderful time uh, Legacy West with them. And then David, our friend David, came in. We had a wonderful time with him. It really was a fun weekend. I had a, I had a great time. Did you have a good time? Yep, had a wonderful time. We will see him shortly, a few more weeks. We get to meet him in Orlando. Yeah, a few more weeks, Orlando. For Universal, for Universal Orlando. We're gonna have eggs for supper tonight. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Again, <laughs> eggs. Weekend's over, long weekend's over. Back to work. Ah. All right, bye everybody. Bye.